I'm an artist based in Seoul. I work with the different mediums, mainly um, interested in people and their stories. And, and I really am like in Korean term, ajumma. Uh, I really like this, uh, like you know, listening to the other people's story and collecting them and 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 try to interpret my own and how I see the world uh, with it. And, trying to express it visually. And um, I came to Hong Kong for the artist residency program uh, at the Mill Six Foundation. Actually, um, uh, I haven't studied uh, photography at all. And actually, I use photography as, uh, as a medium to document the time-based work. And then I realized that there is something other than documenting in the images. Photography is such an uh, uncompleted medium that it seems like it's telling you the story, but actually it doesn't. It's only the viewer who sees it, and mm, it might, I might think this is this. They define the uh, meaning, then the, the meaning is completed. That is perfect media to communicate with the person who's looking at it and the person who's making it. So that's how I started and uh, I think the first few projects I did was a kind of series like Bewitched that I'm asking people to dream and then they're making, making their dream come true. What I liked about the theater is that uh, if you have a show in the gallery space, people will come say to the artist, wow, this show is really nice, thank you, and then go. But you don't know exactly whether they really like it. Whereas the performance theater is the audience sitting right there. And they really react immediately at the spot. And the, the liveness is such an exciting experience. So uh, I want to I wanna really uh, do something in front of audience. And I, I decided to do this a series of uh, theater performances, uh, like a uh, cinema magician. Sometimes I perform with the uh, 20 years old young students uh, without any script. This perform performance was done uh, at the beginning of this year at the Art Sanjay Center in Seoul. Each students uh, were very much involved and then they start putting their own uh, stories on the stage which I, I think of, was very proud because uh, only the very young people can do this kind of very emotional moments in front of uh, so many people, <laughs> which I really loved. I made a signboard, a Korean artist looking for textile industry ex-worker. Uh, if, you, if you have any interesting story, please let me know. I stitched them and I uh, put it on the sign and walked around in the Chunwan. That area used to be, uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, textile factories and uh, sometimes I sit, I sit in the, in the, in the uh, public estate and doing this, this teaching and the elderly people come and they see and no, 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 you, you're doing completely wrong and then they sit down and I'll show you and <laughs> they, they, they do the stitching and then they start talking about their, their experience in the meal. So that's how I, I, I get involved with people. So um, for the Mill 6 project, it is documentary about the young girl who is short and who's living in Hong Kong in 2017 and how she perceived the life uh, as a short person. But actually, it is kind of relationship, a metaphoric connection to the, the elderly person I met in Chunwan, uh, Miss Moon. She has to wear uh, very tall platform shoes in order to reach the weaving machine, uh, which was a very hard uh, symbol of uh, her hard, hard life in the 1950s and 60s, uh, working in the mill factory. In a, in, a, in a bigger level of uh, uh, economy, they, the 1960s, 50s were very important for the Hong Kong life. But as an individual person, you became a machine and you're sacrificing your youth. I felt that was very strong impact 
on me after I met those uh, elderly people and decided to create something about their stories.